Welcome back. So it seems that we're going to need something like, again, we already show a menu now. Now what we want to do is wait for user selection. When he selects something, we want to either show his selection, a new menu maybe, or maybe just uh, something he has to type in, whatever. Or we want to go back to the menu and ask him again because the selection was wrong. So we're going to use a few things. We need to figure out how to clear the console. We need to figure out how to uh, build a loop that keeps sending us back to the right place depending on where we want to go. And we need to start using methods, to be honest, to start actually jumping back and forth in the code with different selections and stuff like that. So let's start out by just making um, a very simple way of actually, when we press show all customers, it just prints out a list of uh, nothing. Just saying, here would all the customers be, right? So that would be the first thing we want to do. But to do that, let's start out by making the show menu, this guy right here, into an actual function. So I'm going to make a method called show menu and let's just uh, add it here, show menu like this. And what I want to send into that one is the list of menu items. Now notice that I just wrote this here now manually. So that's not going to build a menu for me or anything like that. But what I can do is again, control and dot and it'll ask me if it should generate this method for me. You guys probably can't see that because it's so small, but it asks, do you want to generate the method program show menu. I'll just say yes. Now notice I've defined what the name should be and I've defined what it should take in there and that's the list of all the menu items, right? That's all I've defined. The rest of it the program figured out itself and if I scroll down, guess what? It created a static method here that returns nothing that grabs a list of menu items and right now it throws not implemented method. That's just the default way when it auto creates methods for you. It just explains to you, if you try this now, the program will explode. You'll get a not implemented method. And that's of course because if I forgot to implement it, it wouldn't do anything and somebody would probably yell at me. So now we have a show menu method here. Uh, what I want the show menu method to do is also start out by clearing the console, removing everything in there. And then what I wanted to do is pretty much just what we made right here Right, select what you want to do, like this. I'm just copying all the stuff we made last lesson. Let's remove this now. No, let's, let's keep it, that's fine. Um, it says clear the console, that's by doing console.clear. So now there's no text. Select what you want to do, add an extra line. Run over all the menu items, and now the menu items is actually a parameter. Notice this is a parameter that I'm sending in of the type string array and then I'll run over them like we did before. And now, notice the code up here already got a lot simpler. I just say show menu, and now this should work, and I'm able to call show menu whenever I want. So just for the fun of it, let's call it three times just to show you guys that the menu is actually cleared and will only be displayed once, even though I call it three times this function. Running the program, it only pops up once. So every time I call show menu now, it'll clear everything that was there before and show just the menu, nothing else. I hope that makes sense because let's keep on working with that. Now we have a method that can show a menu for us. See you next time.